And a big game, as I mentioned, for both of these teams. It's Brian and Sweets in the ruck. And we're away. Plenty of other games happening this afternoon as well as McPherson gets hands to it for the first time. Footscray looking to go forward. Spills out. Here's Sullivan back into the lineup again today. The skipper. Good to see him back out there. Getting some good numbers back. Footscray over the last couple of weeks. They get out of this Sullivan amongst the chain of handballs. Drummond going across the ground. And they've got some run here on the outer side. Here's Riley Wester. In fact, on our broadcast side. Kicks to a one-on-one. Eugle Hagen front position. Couldn't take the mark. Working there hind. Just take it off the footy. Now it is into the path of Jamara Eugle Hagen. Can steady up the shot at goal. Didn't bring it back. It's across the face. Player out of the VFL. Good body work from Josh Chatfield. Had a good game last week for the Dogs. Kicks it inside 50. Looking for Eugle Hagen. Or out the back is Buku Kamas. First couple of years on the list. Tight in the pocket, Buku Kamas. Can he get the dogs rolling around the body? He struck it beautifully. The dogs are on the board here at Whitnoval through Buku Kamas. Career as an AFL-listed player last week. Couple of goals and plenty of the ball. The intercept mark is good on the outer side. Once is the kick. Lance, he's just going to have a go. You need a, a fly from somewhere. And Van der Hubel, nice hands. Got a, a runner alongside in Crozier, who's going to go with a long ball looking for Eugle Hagen. Has he been paid the mark? No, didn't have enough of it, said the umpire. Has to go back in again. They're under pressure, the Bombers. Pam just went without it. And now the turnover. Turnover for turnover. Hurts kick just inside the 50. And Van der Hubel again takes a solid mark. He's be taken by Luke Cleary for the Dogs. Up towards centre wing. Big fly from Arthur oh. Jones and he brings it down. The young excitement machine for the Dogs. And the numbers. They can send it back inside 50. To a good spot. Van der Heuvel sitting underneath it. And as he's done on more than one occasion in this opening quarter. Gets back in the hole to help out his defence. For the Dogs. Shares it with Drummond. The former Tiger. Kicks it up towards oh. Riley West in a paddock of open space. He can kick it over the top to Eugle Hagen. He's actually going beyond that. That is a beautiful kick by Riley West, showing his class. Don Bedendo did not have to break stride. Don Bedendo, slight angle, should put it through, does put it through. The Dogs, 3-2-20. Who's Campbell over the top was okay. Hodge, we're still going forward. Now Eugle Hagen has some space. He's also got some teammates in space. The handball had to be precise. It was West who ran onto it. It'll eventually spill free. They should have the shot at goal. They will have the shot at goal. He's just got to kick it, Hamad. And he didn't. He decided to lower the eyes and kick it to Charlie Parker instead. And he makes no mistake. He wouldn't have wanted to. The Dons through Lord. Lays a strong tackle. The umpire's found a free kick, though. At half forward for the Dogs. 55 out. Sees something in the pocket that he likes. It's Eugle Hagen. Lovely delivery. Didn't have to break stride. Jam Jamara Eugle Hagen. He leans back always to the right-hand side. And a pretty poor effort from there. He's kicked it out of bounds on the full. Bounces off his chest. Into traffic, out of traffic now. Atley, the skipper, said, I'll do it myself. And then taken in a strong tackle and didn't dispose of the ball correctly. Good defence by the Dogs and McPherson. Go. This Co afternoon. Covering it all. We are. As this kick inside 50, West got up for it. Couldn't bring it down. Here's Eugle Hagen. Finds Sullivan, whose kick uh, is through for a behind. Fly couldn't quite take it there. It was air. And the Dogs have got the numbers with Drummond, but the siren sounds here. Half time at Wittenoval. So far this season, both desperate for a win as Ham gets first hands to it. Picked up by Riley Westlow for the Bulldogs. The kick up towards half forward. Picked up nicely. Here's Jones. Can he get the first on the board? Oh, yes, he can. Perfect start for Footscray in this second half. Finally, Sullivan in his back pocket. Atley follows up and then drops it. The umpire's going to ping him. And the Dogs are going to take the advantage. McPherson takes a bounce. Handballs it to Bedendo. He's already got one. Has he got it all the way home? It hasn't been touched on the line by Zerk Thatcher. Celebrations galore for the Dogs. 
two quick ones inside a couple of minutes of this third quarter and Don Bedendo has got his second. Where the answer is going to come from. Yugel Hagen in the ruck against Archard. Riley West does well on the left boot. Riley West, can he swing it back? He can't. He looks in, but Drummond's going to take the free kick for Footscray. Doug Hawkins wing. Long kick. Cummins had a couple to beat. He's eventually going to get the footy back. Quick kick out of the pack. He's put it through. It's a goal fest here at VU Witten Noble in this third quarter. Pam didn't complete the mark, though. Good pressure from Footscray as Hamad's kick. Oh, big fly from Zerk Thatcher. But there was a player down. It was Chatfield. He's got plenty of goal face to work with. It was wide open. He was going to add to it until he went into the metal work. 50 that he likes. Good spoil from behind. Sullivan, the skipper, snaps around his body. Zerk Thatcher again did well. Yugel Hagen there. And Zerk Thatcher happy to see it through for a minor score. Brian at ground level. The ball comes out the back. Lord on hands and knees. Cleary to Karmas on the left boot. Buku Karmas, he's already got two. He's got three. And doesn't he love it? Buku Karmas puts the dogs back in front. Oh, great kick again. And now he's in the ruck. Parker. Garner on the left boot to Yugel Hagen one on one. Some holding from both. Yugel Hagen couldn't quite get a clean run at it. And inside 50, Yugel Hagen. Good battle with Zerk Thatcher. Jones left without it. Just whacked on the boot. Always dangerous. You see that so often land in the opposition's arms. And this time it's Dan Orgel. See something short in the pocket to Butler. Can play on if he wants. He's going to take the safe option. But for Louis Butler. Leans back and slots it through. Well done, Louis Butler. And the dogs kick away. The way through was Garner. They've got the footy again, inside 50, the Bulldogs. Karmas, numbers here Ooh, for Essendon, only temporarily. Lord brought down, and that is holding the footy. Chatfield, nope. So 62. High kick, air from behind, or Rark. Read it very nicely and had the ball punched out of his hands, and will get 50, Nick Bryan. Just put the fingers through the hair, the hair instead of throwing them out in disgust. Cody Rark leans back and always drifting to the right-hand <laughs> side. Some have swung, some have gone straight. As we wait for this ball to be tossed up. Sweet got it down. Here's another chance for Garner. He's kicked it. And they do get another one before three-quarter time. The goal fest continuing in this third term. One hurts the Dons. Orgel, the goal kicker there in Garner, back inside forward 50. Oh, dropped a mark he should have taken there under pressure. It was Fitzgerald. And now another late one for the Dogs. That hurts even more. It's Josh Kellett. Red time goals going against the Dons here. Nicely done there by Simpson. McBride in trouble. Throws it out the back door and will get penalised. 36 minutes gone. Garner. Wide kick to Riley West. Can chip it short to Parker. Does it travel 15? It does. He plays on. Oh. Strolls in and misses. Oh. You're kidding. Brian and Sweet. Been an interesting battle today. You'd have to give it to Sweet overall. West to run onto the 40. Oh, breaks a tackle nicely. Inside 50. How's a delivery for Cameron? Superb. <laughs> Celebration. So keep an eye on that if he's managing to put it through. Oh, they're getting to him as well. Goal number four. This ball again with Riley West. Dumped as he kicked the footy. And that's into the path of Garner. Lifted in this second half. Short kick for McPherson. Finds him. Probably so. It's close to the man on the mark. Does you and McPherson. This ball's going to go to the top of the goal square. And it's going to be marked by Eugle Hagen. Well, as we've said, it hasn't been his day today, but it could be right now. Let's see. Eugel Hagen kicks the goal. He's first for the afternoon, and an important one for the doggies just to keep that breathing space. Hamad, nice quick handball to Sullivan, the skipper. Kicks them inside 50. Eugel Hagen flies. Strong mark. 
over Zerk Thatcher. Go back and have the shot. Doubt. Yule Hagen from the 50, leans back, won't get the distance. Huge fly from Bedendo. Just with a kick, but it's going to come straight back in again. Garner, oh, he's kicked just too far inside 50 for his teammate. Here's Jones bouncing off one, bouncing off two. He could probably steady and have a shot here, Jones. And he's missed. He's gave it to Drummond, who kicks the dogs inside 50. Huge fly from behind, but in front it's Hugel Hagen. Strong hands on show again. Here he goes, around the body. He struck it okay, but to the left-hand side through for a minor score. So he's had some... And that'll do. The second win of the season for Footscray in this Smithies VFL competition. And they get it done nicely. 13-12-90 to 11-11-77.